Revzilla.com. I'm actually coming to you today from our showroom here in Philadelphia, and behind me I have the best of the 2010 Dionysia collection, which will actually be available early in 2010. I'm just going to go over it really quickly, high level, um, so you can see some of the areas in which Dionysia has changed or improved upon an existing product or come out with a brand new product altogether. So firstly to my right here, I have the Laguna Seca Pro Suit, which is an upgrade from the original Laguna Seca Suit, which was a bestseller in years past. Um, they modified some of the stitching, some of the design. It's a little bit more beefed up, similar price point. Uh, it looks to be a, a, a very big home run for us this year. As we move across, they took some of the elements from the Laguna Seca suit. They've done away with the old Laguna Seca jacket. And what we have is the racing jacket, which is going to have articulated elbows, has some additional design features, have injection molded aluminum shoulder inserts. Um, basically a mid to high level aggressive either sport riding or track jacket. Behind that, I have the Delmar, which is improved for this year. A different perforation scheme. You have your S1 stretch panels, an even more higher end jacket than the racing. You're going to have a 3D bubble liner inside of this jacket to create a microclimate within the jacket. You also have a speed hump, and this is one of the few Dionese jackets that comes with a neck protector. Moving to my right, we have a brand new jacket for 2010. This is the Dionese Air Jacket. It's actually full perforated leather. It's going to have your perforated inner liner. This is a hot weather, summertime jacket, no speed hump, full perforation down the back. You're going to have a pant to waist or a waist to jacket connector inside of this. Um, basic summer protection with you know, all the styling and all the protective features that you get out of a leather. Behind that, I have the improved new sand jacket. And it's a lot of the same features from last year. The cut's slightly modified. And one of the neat features for this year is they've actually taken the aluminum insert from the shoulder, I'm not sure if you can see it, and they've coated it. So this color, this jacket comes in numerous colors. I believe it comes in red, blue, yellow. We saw this jacket in Italy over the last summer when we got the preview of the new line. We're really excited about it. We actually lovingly call it the iPod jacket uh, because it's got a really neat tech feel to it. So as I move on from the new sand jacket, to my left, you're going to see another one of the brand new products for Dionysi for this year. This is actually called the Water Art Jacket. It's really neat. It's the, uh, we're calling it the green jacket in Dionysi's lineup. They use a new tanning process. It actually is more eco-friendly, and it gives, the, it gives the leather a unique smell. It gives it a unique shine. It's a little bit distressed, and you'll see the nice embossing of the Dionysi logo on the sleeves and on the back. Behind that, we have the Greyhound, which is another fashion-inspired jacket. It's still going to have all of the Dionese composite injected armor at the shoulder and at the elbow that's sewn into the jacket. You have some perforation, but the neat part about the Greyhound is that the collar has about, you know, it's probably an extra two inches on any of the other racing-style collars that Dionese has. And when it's on, it really sits, it has a unique look to it. You can hop off the bike. It's going to look great. And as I move further to my right, I have one of the standouts, which is also a brand new jacket in the Dionese 2010 collection. This is the Retro. It comes in both men's and women's styles. It comes in a unique, varying array of color schemes. It's distressed vintage leather. It has a perforation scheme. It has external suede on the shoulders, as well as the elbows. You see single stitching around the shoulders. You see embossed Dionese logo, the demon at the top, as well as the logo. It's a... Uh, it's a really neat, different approach, and when it's on somebody, it looks great. Moving past the retro jacket, I also have a brand new jacket for 2010. This is called the Freddy, named after American racing hero Freddy Spencer. So you see it's a very much a retro style. You have single line stitching. It's all hand done around the chest, around the sleeves. You have some perforation inside the arms. We're also going to have a sleeve elbow here, and as you can see, they really uh, they spared nothing in the way of screaming Freddie Spencer and Dionysi on this one, as we have the major, majorly large Demon logo here on the back. Really cool look, reflective panels, one of the many standouts in the new collection. As we move right down the line, I have a new colorway for the SF ladies for this year. Which is basically the SF jacket stay the same. They've added the red, black, and white colorway. So I also have two new 2010 summer jackets that round out the Dionese 
lineup. In years past, we had the Air 2, which is sticking it around. It's a great medium price point jacket. I like to consider that good. And as we go up, what Dionese has done is they have added a better and a best to the lineup. So if we start with better, which would be the mid-range option for a hot weather jacket, we have a shotgun in both a men's and a women's specific cut. And actually, the production model of the women's shotgun will not have the commemorative patch on it. It will be flat black or plain black. But as you can see, on this garment, it has uh, a little bit more high quality nylon mesh on the arms and in some of the areas. You still have some of the boomerang mesh here on the chest that's going to create some separation from your body and allow more airflow. You also have this really supple but really strong Mugello fiber that they don't use in a ton of their jackets, but it's really a nice feeling and as well as an abrasion resistant fabric that they'll sew into some of these hot weather jackets. It has some reflective panel options, it has more boomerang mesh here on the back. It's meant to be really sturdy, but really lightweight and breathe really well. And as you can see on the women's jacket, this is actually a really solid jacket. We're excited to have this in the lineup. It's got a really nice shape to it. You have some boomerang around the hip flare, and then you have your nylon mesh with your Mugello mesh down the front, anodized hard parts, or anodized buttons rather, and an embossed raised temper foam Dionese Demon on the back. Now as I move up the food chain, our last new jacket for this season, we have the Portland. And the Portland is the best hot weather riding jacket from a protective standpoint in Dionese's lineup. You're going to have your nylon beefed up mesh in the chest as well as the back sides and arms. You have nice new jello fabric down the front. It's gonna be it's gonna have some stretch to it, it's gonna be supple, it's gonna be durable, it's gonna breathe really well. You also have an anodized zipper, you have anodized buttons. It's really the jacket that they looked at. You have an embossed Dionese across the back. It's the jacket that they looked at and they said, let's take a hot weather riding jacket, make it styled for everyday on or off the bike use, but really beef up the protection to it. Because a lot of times people think, you know, riding in the hot weather, if you have mesh, you're giving up a lot of protective elements. We've actually seen it from a few of our manufacturers that this year it's been great. Um, a lot of guys that ride a ton in hot weather don't have to sacrifice anything in the, in the area of protection. So all the items that I just showed you today are going to be available early 2010 at RevZilla.com. We may start taking some pre-orders in the late fall uh, 2009. They come in many colorways. We'll have high-res uh, high photography available on RevZilla's Flickr account at Flickr.com slash photo slash RevZilla, which you can get to from our, very easily from RevZilla.com. And as always, you can always give us a ring at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email to cs at RevZilla.com with any questions about the new Dionese 2010 lineup or any other products that you see here on Redzilla TV. Thanks for watching.